Hey everyone, Retro Girls UK back for a brand new video and this is weekly vlog 12 so if you're new to this channel um, we are the Retro Girls UK, we do weekly vlogs, pick up videos, car boot videos which will be coming soon um, so don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get all the latest um, updates of what we're waiting for, let's get into it <laughs> We went to a local tip and today I went there again. I did it while Lisa was still in bed going, <sighs> snoring. Yes, she's awake, she's stinking me out with her farts. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, no, so, I'm not stinking me out. <laughs> so I won't show her on camera as she has a bed hair. But <laughs> but sorry I'm laughing. But I did pick up some stuff her and dad. We took some of the old VHS that we don't keep. So I picked up a we will include print screens of the price at six. I picked up another screen. So this is screen three for Lisa's screen collection. As you'll see, wait, let me pan the camera just there. Where's my finger? Just there. All the screen collection. Where's your finger? Oh yeah, on the on the lens. So this is what it, I'm on the right domestic. This is what it looks like. Yes. Um the screen collection screen, the screen collection. It's too early in the morning. Screen three. I picked up um the Man from Uncle on Blu-ray. I have never heard of it. Well, I've heard of this before, but never seen it. It's just, these are all three, four quid. Or four, four quid. And I picked up a really rare um, Kino Classics. This is September Storm. It's really rare for us. I think it's a US release, but it's ABC. This is like 30 quid on Amazon and eBay. Um, Lisa said it's part of the Kino... Lobo. What? Kino Lorba. Lorba collection. Can you hold these, Lisa, please? Mm. So there was four of a pound. And then, yes, this is all my chins. And I did pick up. Let me pick up. Tekken Tag. Yes, it's got some top scratches, but I'm going to test it to see if it works. This is on PS2. And I did pick up a Xbox 360 controller. So this. I've got an itch. This was three quid. I said to Lisa, if they had. They had like four more. If there was like two quid each, I would have risked them and picked them up for CEX because you get £13 voucher. But I just bought this one for my uh, console because my console's got a dodgy <laughs> joystick. It's a bit drifty. So this is in really good condition. Um, So this week we're off to the cinema. I think we're off to Primark. Possibly. Yes. And I think this week is going to be the... I think it's this week or next week is the release of Lisa's brand new WWE game. So, um, we'll see you sometime this week. And yes, I've got an itchy back. Um, there's nothing else I don't think we've got coming. No. I, if we do, we'll show it. So, bye-bye for now. Doodaloo. Fuck is the cat watching? <laughs> <laughs> and now she's like, he's got. Oh, Willow! <laughs> <laughs> so, at the fort at the minute, Michelle has finally got herself a pair of shoes. Hang on, over my feet. Oh, while well, I'm looking back. Stitch and they fit perfectly, and only 14 pounds. We got some stitch socks for 350. Let me be dirty because I've just threw my old shoes on there. Let me take them out the back. 
That's our Dragon Ball Z cozy socks for three quid in the sale. And then look at that in the sale. Can't wait to wear them. I got some Akuna Matata. <laughs> Lion King socks. These are the best socks when you've got long trainers on. That's all for now. Yeah, we're on our way to B and M next to get some uh, guinea pig food. Yeah. Okay, so we went to Poland and then home bargains. And you know what? We actually bought some blue away from Poland. That the proves. Always check your Poland. I will say the Fort Poland, the blue rays. My hair, my hair. Excuse me. The Blue Rays are 25p at the other power them, but they didn't have the fit we wanted. And I did get a, a guinea pig haul today, so it's different. If you have a guinea pig, it's worth checking whole bargains because it's 2 29 and normally it's like 8 quid at other shops. And then these are for rabbits. But these are your pound, these are like 3 quid at Pets at Home. Uh, you don't need to disinfect it. Uh, so, some pat you hold that look. I'll probably include the print screens of Pat CX prices. So we got the that hoist. Because <laughs> if not, they'll quote you won't be able to see. The hoist from Morgan Freeman. This looks like a good action movie. You got. I'm sorry. Alice, the disappearance of Alice Creed. That's age of 18. And uh, a movie by Quentin Tarantino. Death proof. I've never heard it. Why do you keep pushing my arm? Because I want to put the print screen here for the peeps. Never heard of this movie. Who is Con Quentin Tarantino? The director, know. actor, like, I don't there. know much as you can tell. This film is Rise of the Shadow Warrior. This gives me Lord of the Rings vibes. Got a uh, rendition with Jake Gyllenhaal. I have never watched the film with him. Yeah, most of these are like blind boys, but because we don't own them, we thought we'd pick them up because we've never seen it. Oh we? no. The Rock. Get smart. The Rock, are you sure? Oh my god, no, it's Steve Carell I don't like. <laughs> and then this one's from Moi. Last but not least, Hop. I thought we had this, but Michelle checked the list and we don't actually own this. I thought this would have been one of the ones that I know, we owned. I know why, because we bought it from Mother for one of the Mother's Days. <laughs> <laughs> so, comment down below if you, bought, if you watch any of these. Is there anything you could recommend out of this lot? And we'll see what else we have the rest of the week. Yeah, I'm still can't believe all these that we bought. I'm gonna watch. I'm definitely gonna be watching the highs and get smart because I do like um, Dwayne Johnson. I don't want to bother my head like this. <laughs> <laughs> Is it nice? We'll try some. Yeah, go on then. A bit watery, but it would do. I think it's a bit watery. So I do. Yeah. And Michelle had plain old Coke. <laughs> Yeah. I hate tartar sauce. Come on, put back into it. I may have got your chins in the video. I apologise to anyone who's watching. <laughs> Dig it in. Dig it in. Really nice, oh really? I put peas in mine. You manky man. Mine just got chips in. No, yeah. So these are. So what is that? So I have the capture of it. Let so, me show the camera. Yeah. Okay. So the capture is homemade sweet natural Kit Kat chocolate spread, vanilla flavor, ice cream, and strawberry. Yeah, but it smells like you know like cinnamon. Like, I can get okay. like, a cinnamon. Come on, Lisa. Move yours, move yours. How are you supposed to eat it? Pick up your fingers. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What the? For you, don't I think it's a weird shit. No, because it's the first time I've ever seen it on the menu, so I thought it's a different. Are you struggling there? Because every time I go to a pub restaurant, I always need to have the cheesecake. So I've got to try something different. Okay, I've had my usual fudge cake for your finger. And you ain't got no tissue either. Is it cinnamon? No, yeah, it is. Did you not? Uh. There's no cinnamon on the thing. Ah, that's tough. Okay, if you guys want to tell them, is it nice? Would you recommend it? It is actually, like the cinnamon's not that overpowering. No. So we had two more uh, mocktails. This one's mine. I had the berry punch. Michelle had some ginger crap. 
ginger ale. That's what it was. It's nice. That tastes like piss, but water. <laughs> and this. I think it was That's nice. I'll tell you what's in this. Hold on. It is cranberry and ginger punch, a refreshing sweet kick of blend of cranberry juice and swept with ginger lemonade. Yours is a, a mock tail of your dreams, a mix of cranberry and orange juice topped with swept with lemonade. Tastes the same as the last crap. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've been out today, um, we went shopping, and we only got a couple of pickups. I will say, we did go to Sutton Cold Food, which I see on a different vlog upcoming soon on the channel which we did a lot of recording um you'll see a little bit of the worst cx that we've been to which will be upcoming these are literally putting the toy to sutton coldfield so if you know and you're not if you're new to the channel look at the sutton coldfield video don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out yeah so i saying picked up two things mum picked up a twilight book uh, midnight sun midnight sun hard back book the one that's in edward's point of view um I will show you a bit of a hint towards what we picked up from one item. Let me find something. From the one of the videos. Okay. So from the, the Sutton vlog, this is one hint. We have got quite a few physical media, not all books, movies, everything. So keep an eye out for that video upcoming. Mm -hmm. And we picked up two things. You can show that one. Um, I picked up a GameCube game and it's two quid at CX, but it's not local. It is International Superstar Soccer 2. Lisa's never played this game, but it does remind me of Pro. If you don't know, what, if you never don't know what GameCube disc games are, the disc is like super tiny, like, and then the memory card goes there. But it's completely manual. But unfortunately, the box will be going in the bin, even though it's a mint condition box, because I don't keep my GameCube game box unless they're rare stuff. Please don't hate us for that. We run out of space, and this is a Konami, Konami yeah. game. That was one fifteen, <clears throat> and it is two quid at CX. The second thing we got from the same charity shop, this was 50p and it is Battle for Battle for Sever Stopal. Yeah. Did I get that right? Yeah, sort of. 50p. This is a our video title. I will say that is £2 at CX. At the time of recording, got I don't think I'm going to put a print screen up because I'll probably not forget it if not. If you don't see a print screen, you know I forgot. <laughs> well, I can't open it quickly. Okay. Um, yes, we did, and I will say we've got a review now, so, a review now, why am I saying it like that? You don't even know. We did watch the Hey Your Series, you're going to say, well, what did you watch that rubbish for? Which is on Paramount Plus. So it's based on the Master Chief, Chief, Chief? Chief? I can't remember what words at the river tree. Master Chief, and it shows you his, um, if you ever watch it, spoiler alert. So it's going through that, it shows you his flashbacks of, um, his childhood of how he became a, the, the Halo, as you'd call it. But Halo's not actually, if you think about it, Halo is not what you think it is, is it? The title of the game is Halo. I will say, it does remind me quite a lot of the game I was watching it. And even like, the, I will say, the woman who voices Con is a Contra yeah. is actually the, the one in the game. She actually does the voice of the, the AI. It was really good. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. The only thing that pissed me off was, I will say, I didn't like the woman. Uh, what's her name? What? The, what? the blonde one. Yeah, well, blonde one. I put a picture in here of what her name is. And um, let me see if I can find it while you're talking. Lisa, come on her review. Go on, Lisa. Very unprofessional of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't go into much detail like Bashar did because, well, just because. But I will say that. I don't understand where all the hate is coming from with the Halo series because I actually really enjoyed it. Even though it's got like low ratings on IMDb, I just don't understand because you know you've got the the storyline, you've got the drama, you've okay. got the action. It's I've just figured it's brilliant. Okay. I don't need to put the print screen. So that woman there, Mackie, is another chosen one. Yeah, continue thinking. That's the character I don't like. So I will give this series. Probably 8.5 out of 10. It didn't even take us long to watch it either. What, two days, was it? Or yeah, three days? Two days. Yeah, there was only nine episodes. So I'm looking forward to season two. I haven't played many of the Halo games. The only time I played... Michelle shaking her head. The only time I played... I the only time I played Halo is when I played it online with Michelle when we had 
on their separate TVs on the 360 or um, Xbox One. And I really enjoyed it on the uh, playing that online. I played a little bit of the story mode before, but did we play for like two no, hours? No, because you something? kept running off on the thing, getting me killed. Like, leaving me, sacrificing me to the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm that type of person when you play in a game. Yeah, I just I just leave to a person. I end up doing, doing my own thing, sacrificing them. But yeah, I really did enjoy the series, and we're thinking about picking it up on 4K. Do you we, mean we're thinking? I am picking it up. Okay, on 4K. we we are picking it up on 4K. <laughs> we don't want to get it on 4K still book because we just don't justify fifty five pound for it. So. Standard 4K is good enough for us. I will say the guns look exactly like they did in the game. And the sword. Was yeah. It the sword? Yeah, the other sword, sword that they like hold. It's like a light thing and it's like two prongs. My favourite yeah. weapon that was My favourite weapon in the game is the one with like, it's a, the alien gun from the little things. It's got like the spikes out mm -hmm. and it was really good. I said, I really enjoy it. I'm going to re-watch it because I like that it is. The only thing I think is they made a big deal about that Mackie and then it's like, I just don't know. And that, but I think they should have done the ending for the series. They should have done it a little bit better. So just ending it, uh, spoiler. But so I won't spoil it actually because that's just uh, being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I gotta say, it's really good. Lisa is gonna watch. She's watched Last of Us. She's not got one more episode to watch. Tell her what you think of it up to now. I don't know. I just, I just can't put my finger on it. I just find it boring, slow burner. Not as bad as Resident Evil. Thank God. But I will watch the last episode of Last of Us and I will watch the next series because hopefully it will get better. One of the episodes was just literally based on two girls um, trapped. You didn't see any other characters in the whole episode, I don't think. But yeah, I will be watching the last episode and the next series. Fingers crossed it gets better because everyone keeps saying how good it is and I personally can't see that. I think probably, probably the same thing with Halo. Like, we think it's brilliant and other people hate it. The I same thing. I think it's because I, when Lisa's watching, I haven't watched it. When I look over every so often, I can reference stuff to the games. And yeah. that, so I've never should, played the game. I will say you should go with it when you watch this. Even if you've got a game of it, go and open mind or you read the books. It's like me when I watch like True Blood. I don't feel it's not the same as the books. So when you watch, yeah. when you play the game or watch the books, always go to open mind because you never know. You can't just judge it because they're going to change soon. Because if they're going to have it like the game, then what's the point? You might just bloody play the game. Exactly. That's why I'm actually glad that I haven't played Last of Us because then I can't, you know, like refer certain scenes to the game if you get what I mean. But well, I've been stuck on Last of Us for fucking ages. What the game? You're know, the big monster with the the, the flower, the um, the clicker, not the clicker, the big ass thing. Yeah. I'm stuck on that. I can't sneak past it every time I do. I keep dying. <laughs> <laughs> I had it with the headphones and it made me jump. But it is a very exciting week for me because Friday. Wrestling is out. Cannot wait. 2K. 23. I'm so excited. But I don't agree with John Cena being on the front, personally. I, As a wrestling fan, I think whoever is the champion of the time of making the game should be on the front cover. Like, Bianca Belair should be on the front cover because she ain't been on the front cover yet. And I think she? She, no, and I think she deserves to be on the front cover. I mean, you know, John Cena, you know, a no-show. Only when WrestleMania comes up. <laughs> Any plans this week in the series you're watching? Oh, to see Shazam. That might be next week because it's Mother's Day Sunday and I think she wants to go and see 65. Not, si not 69. Oh, Scream. I, again. I, I swear, I, last Scream I watched like five. I love the films, but then I don't mind them. But Obviously, I don't mind watching Scream again. It's my favourite horror franchise. Comment down below. Do, do you want to see Lisa's Scream collection on the video? She's thinking of doing it, but she doesn't think many people would be interested. Probably because, you know, Scream's been out for like a week now, two weeks. But she's got various items, some that you can't get over here. Very true. Very true. So, yeah. Next time you'll see me is probably when I'm at the fort. Getting my wrestling game, which I am super excited for. Exactly. So, uh, it's a brand new day. And we've just done an unboxing, a subscriber mail unboxing from uh, Thomas. Um, he sent us some awesome stuff. As this will be going live after, one thing is, is a PS1 here. It's a bit dark because it's, it's obviously night time. And Lisa, what are you watching, Lisa? Sopranos, don't show the TV. There's like boobies. Oh, I'll show you now. <laughs> are you going to be reviewing it when you finish it? Yeah, I'm only on season one, episode two. And I'm just installing all my games. 
Okay, so today is the day. Michelle had her little moment with Hogwarts Legacy, and now it's my moment with WWE 2K23 with John Cena on the foot. I don't know why he's on the front for. Bianca Belair should be on the Technic front. Technically, there's no one on the front. <laughs> this is one to four players, two to eight players online, and it's 55 gigabytes. In oh, shit. You put the mirror. I am so looking forward to playing this. What's it look like inside? You made me unseal it. Is it yours? Do you want to see it? I ain't got the nails. You do realise there is a tap here. I didn't even see that. <laughs> Don't judge. Don't judge me. Right. Where's the tap start? Just get your key, Lisa. <laughs> Give me the thing. <laughs> I can't have my nails all chipped oh my, down. Oh, my key. We are so unprofessional. Oh, uh, stick that down there. Rubbish bag in the car, she sticks it in the door. Yep. Oh, we'll clean it in a minute. Don't <laughs> you worry. I am not going to be showing you my uh, code. I have a nose, are there? So, uh, what you do to do that, you get a pre order bonus which includes Bad Bunny character, Ruby Bad Bunny, and my facts. Who the fuck is Bad Bunny character? Bad Bunny, that's that um, rapper. He was at a pay per view, I can't remember which one. And he had some badass weird header. Are you going to ask him a question? What question? Have anyone bought that game? What console, if you did, what console did you buy it on? On release day. Now, I think this released on all the consoles on the same day, or like Harry Potter, wasn't that like? Mm -mm, that's not correct. What's the boss correct then? If you bought the deluxe edition, you got it a couple of days before. No, I want about the standard edition. Oh, no, the standard edition, yeah. But yeah, I didn't want I didn't want to get the deluxe one because I just couldn't justify the price. I think it was like seventy something. Eighty five. I don't know. I was in there and I was in there today. Eighty five pound, which came out on the fourteenth, and the standard one came out on the seventeenth, which is today. So it's like you price. paid sixty quid for that, didn't you? Yeah. When you pre-order again, you obviously pay a two pound deposit, and that comes off the whole price. So today I paid. Fifty-seven ninety-eight, I think, or ninety-nine. And the, I think the stand, the PS4 one was only fifty-five in total. So yeah, so happy! I cannot wait to play this. Play the story mode. You didn't complete your last story mode, did you? I don't know. I can't remember. You I did... haven't been on the PlayStation for a while. It was glitching. Remember on that mission? On the mission. Well, you was in the ring and he kept getting stuck in between, like the ring and the floor. Oh my god, it was glitching so bad. I'd be having like you know a match, keep myself to myself and everything, and then. My vessel just decides to float inside the ring and all you can see is like his shoulders and his head. It was so weird. <laughs> but fingers crossed it doesn't happen with this one. I find it quite funny. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed to, um, the weekly vlog. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, we do have a Facebook group and various other social medias which is in the description below. Um, if you're new to this channel, I just thought I'd tell you who we are. This is Lisa and I am Michelle. And that is my wife. And that's my wife. She's not my mother. <laughs> yeah. Or my nan. So uh, comment down below what's your favourite thing. Do you like the weekly vlogs? Um, is there anything you'd like to see additional in there? Uh, tomorrow after cinema, so that'll be in the next weekly vlog. Um, so, and one second. And comment down below what is your favourite wrestling game? I actually like the, P the PS3 one. The one with Van Dorton on the back, the Smackdown vs. Raw one. Smackdown vs. Raw? Yeah, you know the old PS3 ones used to be Smackdown vs. War. Oh, yeah. I was thinking of the, the uh, 2K12 one. That That's one of the best ones to me. That one with Andy Yeah, that yeah. Old yellow cover. I like all them, but not the new ones. I'm not a big fan. Oh, I used to buy them all the time, and now I don't. I just think, yeah. Yeah, so, um, so we hope you enjoyed today's video. So stay safe and keep hunting.